tell me about the last six and a half years for you. Well, my sentence is was nine. Now I have eight. I did, um, yeah, well, eight years, so I'm almost done. Yeah. I go home in 24 because yeah. I'm in college, so it takes six months off. I get my associate's degree in May. When I get out, I plan on owning my own hair salon because I would like to do hair, nails, makeup. I'm still in school from the college, which I didn't really have the opportunity to go to the street. But that moment that I did start to calm down, mm-hmm. like in 2020, because that's when I think it's mm-hmm. I um, got drafted, so I had more opportunity. I, was, I got into Cosmo, which is the lady's not here. I finished the vocational part when was trying to get a license, which is good to take that when you go home, you can own your own business with a license. I should be able to get my associate's degree this May, which I'm going to probably go home with a bachelor, but you know, it's better late than never. Yeah. And with that opportunity, would you have taken that on the outside? Well, I had already had my own high school diploma, graduated from Martin Van Buren in Queens, mm-hmm. and I had a couple college credits from um, Coastline Community College. I think that is in California. Yeah. yeah I, the reason why I was in there, I did it online because I got married young, and stuff, so stuff like that. Yeah. But um, I probably would have just had on my own hair salon. <laughs> yes. now. Yeah. Yeah. Interesting though that education has changed you, it sounds like a lot. I feel like, um, yes, it did. If I had more opportunity to go street, then I'm worried about simple things like, um, so that's why I have my hair short, pull your hair up and stuff like that, and you want to give me, keep lock time for it, for the smallest things, just yeah. keep me locked away. I probably would have um, obtained my bachelor's by now. I probably already had my cosmetology license. So yeah. it wasn't, my bed hasn't been easy for me. I try to keep a smile on my face. But deep down inside, I'm very um, miserable as I'm supposed to be, and I get that part. But I feel like I'm not always feeling dehumanized. I should always feel like, you know, I'm going to still have an opportunity when I go out, when I get out of the free world. Not just always feel like, you know, I should always be angry or mad or just like, you know? Yeah. It's just a tense situation. I'm very yeah. tense. Yeah. You seem like you're someone who's really confident to me. Mm-hmm. So it's surprising to hear you say that. Yes. Yeah, do because I'm strong. I try to like I hold in a lot. I hold in a lot. I don't hang out with a lot of people. I know a lot of the girls know me. And I'm, you know, nice and cordial with them, hey, how you doing or whatever. But I don't hang out with a lot of people. I keep it simple, one person. I hang out with every day. If you see me with someone else, it would be short because, you know, this is not my life. And I just try to just grow up, you know, keep keep myself small because if you allow too many people in, it becomes drama. It becomes, like, too much. And we're in prison. So you want to just not do too much. You want to keep it as simple as possible and just try to work your way on your goals on going home and doing better and not coming back. Yeah. That is awesome advice anytime. Yes, in any it's time. not the place to be, no matter what yeah. you got your hair done. It's, there's days where it's not easy. You yeah. know, you have to mentally be like, and then there's days, it's just, you know, it's prison. It's not supposed to be like a girl, girls camp club. It's supposed to be to a lesson right here. Yeah. Yeah. You just got to make the lesson just the environment. Or just, you know, following the rules is the biggest yeah. key. You yeah. must follow the rules. Yeah. If you follow the rules, you'll be all right. Yeah. And you wouldn't follow the rules, it's going to be tasks thrown at you, nitpicking. But you have to make it through that because if you can make it through this, you'll be able to make it anywhere. Do you want to tell us about that one person that you're closest to? Yeah, she told me she's very smart. She's about to get her bachelor's. And she taught me to humble myself a lot. A lot of times when I feel like I want to get angry, it may look like, um, from the outside looking in, it may look like we're not getting along, but nine times out of ten, it's me, her, trying to keep me calm. And she's like, don't act like that. <laughs> so just looks can be deceiving in a lot of times. Yeah. Tell us about Rikers. Rikers was good. I got along with all the girls on Rikers, too, so that's sweet volumes, too. Yeah. Rikers Island is no joke. It's like I was always able to get through to people. So the intake is the way you when you first come in, so I would see everybody going home, coming in, or on bail, and I would just tell like the officers would be frustrated. I'm like, just stop, just try to like listen and just calm down, and then all of a sudden they'll listen to me. Like, yeah. my hardest time was when I stayed there. It was very hard. I've always gotten trouble. Right, Felicia? Well, it was hard for me when I first came in. 
Oh, yeah. And I change. They don't really see it here. Like, they know that I'm quiet, but it's just like, it's so much a person can take with. Yeah. With the when Were you, you like that way before you came in? Yeah, I was very, I was just like this. I'm more of a person that I don't like to be angry or mad all the time, but yeah. I hold a lot in, and then it just, I, I, I'll have to just like a little episode of screaming and get mad. I don't think anybody was likes prison, except people that go and like, come back and forth. But um, those are people that don't have no guidance, no way to like, you know, oh, okay. drug, yeah, I don't drugs. I never did. So that was my thing. I always yeah. worked. I did work. I was a bartender. I worked. I was. I worked in a daycare. I worked on a naval base in Japan. Where my ex husband and he, he still. Yeah, I've always been productive. I've always been a go getter. Yeah. So I'm just ready to get out so I can just catch up on what I'm missing. Yeah. Older now, so I got yeah. better plans, better things to do. Yeah. And I'm just trying to, yeah, keep myself slow. Sad to say you gotta dim your light in a place like this, but you have to. So what is our interview more about? Is it to like um, teach people at home this is not the place to be? Because I learned that like this. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> I did not have to do a bid so long for me to get that. Like I learned that from Rikers. Like I may put on like I'm about to cry. Hmm. I may put on like um I may put on like a smile, but I'm so so miserable. Hmm. And I'm trying to keep my composure. <laughs> but this is like the worst place to be. Not just because like oh we're in hell we we're getting hurt or harmed, but it's just like it's nothing like having your freedom. It's nothing like being able to just, you know, go in your own space and not always have someone's, like, you know, it's like people's job, but it's just nothing like your freedom, being at home. And you don't have to do 30 days. I hate it. Every day, every day I do, I try to smile because that's just me. I'm a strong woman. But, like, what I've been through is a lot, and no one can ever understand that or walk a mile in my shoes when you have been through a lot. And I take in a lot. And I'm like, I'm a kind person, but it's just people think that, oh, all right, maybe I'm living my best life because I put that face on. But mm -hmm. deep down inside, I'm better than this. I have, you know, a life at home. I have a family that loves me. And I feel like I'm taking that away from them. I'm taking it away from my mom. And so, like, I would say to the camera, you know, try to just try your best to do the right thing out there because being in here, it may seem okay. And people might go home. And so I'm pretty sure there's a lot of girls that's in the max, like, or well, women like Felicia and Kayla, who's done 20, 30 something years, and they finally made it here, but they still have to go through hard times in the max where it's just like, wow. I have all this time to do. Because that's how I felt. That's why I was always like, it was nothing no one could tell me when I first came in. If I felt like any little thing bothered me, I would just react. And that's just not the way. That one person that keeps me all right, even if I have to argue with her and say, no, blah, 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 blah. You know, we curse each other out. But she's, her goal is, listen, you're better than that. You just keep yourself calm. You're going home. You to tell me, like, look at me, I have to go to a board. I have life. Like, I don't have a say, so I don't have a date. I have to go to someone and speak to them and say, I'm trying to fight for my life. And it convinced them that I have changed. You don't have to do that. So why get yourself all upset? Just let this go. Yeah. And I snap back quick. So it's just like, I'm very emotional, too, at the same time. I smile and stuff like that. But I hate it. I hate state prison. <laughs> I hate it. I hate even Ray Gazzali. It's not. It's not for a woman. I don't. I don't think a man either. But like a female woman, we are emotional. You know, we have to lock in. If we're in ourselves, then we lock in 10, 8, 10 p.m. at night, mm -hmm. and we don't come out till six a.m. And then they do the twelve, the eleven o'clock count to twelve. Those times that we are just in ourselves are hard. Mm -hmm. We might come out, smile, and fix our hair. But when you're in there, it's deep. It's very deep. You start thinking about a lot. And no one knows that because, especially with me, they probably think, oh, she's all right. Mm -hmm. And some people get away with everything that they want and they're still miserable. I try to put a smile on my face with all the hardship that I go through. 
but yeah, because it's not the place to be, especially people who don't have help. It's even harder and they're more angrier, you know. And it's just you, you're taking yourself away from your children. I don't have children yet, but I, you know, I plan on when I go home. But you're taking yourself away from your mother, your father, your sister, your brother, your daughter, your son, whatever it is. It's just you gotta. Do right when you're out there. You have to appreciate every little thing that you have, whatever you can have, and just try to do right. Yeah. Follow the rules like we have to follow the rules in prison and follow the law at home. Because yeah. if not, you're being here yeah. and you're stuck and it's their way, not your way. It's not your house, it's their house. Yeah. So you have to do the right thing. Right. You would never want to take your freedom away so someone else could tell you what to do. Someone could tell you how to sit, how to stand, who to sit next to, who, not, who to talk to, who not to talk to. You don't want to have someone to have that power over you. If you could see my disciplinary history, why still not see my change? So it's been